Hello and welcome back to lecture number four on code for all. And you might be noticing that my voice or my excitement has changed. The slides that you can see on the video is a bit changed. The reason is that prior to this lecture, our life was just a simple black and white life as we were only dealing with HTML. But now we are going to transform our life. We are going to make this life colorful. And how are we going to do that? We are going to introduce CSS. And CSS will add colors and designs to our life. And it will transform our life. I mean, obviously, I mean web development life. So how are we going to deal with it? So let's jump into it. And I hope that you have done all the previous tasks and just get ready because soon you will be getting a quiz to solve and there will be obviously marks all there will be almost five questions for you to attend and i hope you will clear it you will assess i mean so let's jump into css so the first thing that we are going to do in the css is inline css how will it transform our life let's see So this was, just ignore my face and my picture. So this was our site that we were working on. Obviously it's all blank at the back. So how can we add color? Why don't you try? Just pause the video and try for it. Obviously we are going to solve it all together too, but just give it a try. So now we are going to jump into transforming its white color into some sort of color let's see here we are just open the atom and obviously we are working with inline css inline css means that in order to change the color you can select any one element and the color will change and as most of the portion is in body, so why don't we change the color of the body? So just click it. As it involves CSS, so we are going to write style. So it will get on to the CSS thing. Now as we are thinking of changing the background, so let's right back colon uh, color could be anyone yellow control s let's see very nice I mean uh, not very nice but at least we got some color now in order to get a better color you can just simply go to color hunt so the site that we are going to use is color hunt i don't know why but i think it would be better if we use some light color so why not this one just click over it copied now what are we going to do just erase it control v enter the hashtag here control s and let's see what is going to appear now very nice so this is something that we can really praise obviously not very nice but better than before now it was only done about the body Okay, so it was very easy to change the color of the body. But what if I need to change the color of this underline the HR that we placed after each section? See, above education, above work experience, above skills, hobbies, contact me. So there are many HR in our code. That means for each we need to write that again and again. So it will be obviously a tiresome process and we are going to come up with its solution and that will be 
internal CSS. So let's dive into it. So now we are coming to internal CSS as we discussed an issue. And that issue is that what if we want to change the color of HR? Now we have many HRs, I mean the line that we have used under each heading. So it will be a tiresome process that if we going if we are going to write the same code each time for each HR. So its solution is inline CSS. For inline CSS, we are going to write it in head, write style. There you are. Just remove all this. Now we must start with the body, right? Just element of HTML there. Then background color and the color will be the same. So let's see what we get here. Control S, remove all this. Control S, refresh. Yes, very nice. It's same, so that means that we have done internal CSS correctly. Now what if we want to change HR? Write the element curly braces and okay. Now, what if we change border color to white? Let's see how it changes. Oh, very nice. I hope that you can see the change, but you see, there's some width there is a design so for this reason i would like you to just go for md and docs to see that what is default css border design so border style there we are what if we make it none control s let's see now see it has disappeared now we want to have something like this. So we want our HR to appear like this. How can we do it? Let's see. So make this our dotted one. Let's check our side. Okay. So the width or the height is very small. So let's see what we can do next. What if we change the width to 20 px? Control S. Very nice. But in order to make it responsive to each screen, make it in a form of percentage like 20% of the screen. No, no, it's too much. 10% little bit 5% now we are talking so okay now what we are going to do what if we change the size I mean 30 px let's see okay now what if okay we can do something like this border top style dotted how is this going to appear okay and sorry border bottom I mean bottom style no. why is it none so let's see now okay very nice okay now border width if we change 
to 30 how it may affect let's see Ooh, what is this <laughs> okay then okay Mm -hmm. There is an issue. Modern top is correct. That's correct. Everything is going nice. What if we change its color to gray? You know what is this line appearing? Bottom top star dotted. Bottom. What if? Just remove this radius from here. See, that was issue. So I hope that it is appearing somewhat like what we have seen here that we are using as a model. Obviously, it is not exact copy, but it's better. So let's now see, but obviously you see that if we jump onto hobbies page, there is no effect. Now what are we going to do so that we can implement it on all pages? Obviously if we have several pages for it, we are only having three pages. One is home, one is hobbies and another is contact me. But what if we have numerous pages? And for this reason, we are going to use external CSS that now we are going to implement. that If we want to change our index page, we did it very easily through our CSS. At first we use inline and then we use internal CSS. But if we visit our hobbies page, you will see that no change on our page of hobbies or contact me so how can we change obviously it won't be visible if we copy and paste this code on each of our page if we have hundreds and thousands or even 10 pages it will be wastage of time so what could be our solution our solution is external css now we will be doing external css in order to apply this CSS on each of our page just with a small word little effort and we'll be done by this so for this reason first we are going to create a new folder CSS there it is now a new file style dot css and there's the page simply we will copy and paste this whole over here control s remove this previous code control s and now we will see fresh okay so why is this not appearing the reason is that it's correct that there's a page of st uh, style css but we haven't linked it and for this reason we'll use link now you are going to remove this bar the reason is that you are just operating at the moment on local host there is nothing as you are operating a hosting or hosting it online on any route so you will remove the name master and you will give the name that is written here style controllers now let us see there we are So what we are going to do that we will be pasting this 
on each page like this link remove it style control s let us see our hobbies page now everything is same what about hobbies yes we will do same with our contact me page control c control v let us see now see there you are so this is how we will be using our external css to apply the designs that we thought on each of our page now this is the end of our lecture number 4 and what we did in this lecture we studied that what is css what is the importance of css how does it affect our you can say web development life our career and we study its three types what is inline css what is internal css and what is external css what are its uses what are the benefits what are you can say pros and cons what is which type is beneficial at which moment for which purpose and i believe that you have learned it uh you can obviously get better after doing practice after repetition so try to view the this lecture at least twice if you don't get it once and implement it on your own sites experiment so that you can become a true master because you are here at code for all and we all are trying to become and we will become full stack web developers and for this reason like share subscribe ask me anything if there's any confusion ask in the comment section or email me whatever you feel like and feel free to contact me but obviously first try on your own practice on your own and then we all will grow together on this platform code for all see you next time thank you very much a very best a very a very best wishes for the rest of your time best of luck take care bye